Hey guys, welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. Last time we met our street kid V and learned a little bit about her background and found out a bit about her place in the world and also met this guy, Mr. Jackie Wells, who um, may just have turned out to be uh, about the only honest guy in Night City. We had a bit of a flashback of the last six months of our life uh, running jobs alongside this guy and turns out he's all right. Now, we are here in uh, the basement of this tower block to find one Miss Sandra Dorset. Right, let me take a quick look, bring up the information. So, Wakako Okada's got us a gig. She's uh, she's one of the big fixers of Night City. Fixer got an SOS call from one of her clients, Sandra Dorset. All signs point to her having been plucked off the streets by scavengers. Motherfuckers are in the biz of carving people up and selling their implants on the black market. Think it's time we paid them a visit. What do you say, Chica? Uh, so, it looks like our, our mission objectives are written by, uh, from Jackie's point of view. Huh. Little hacking symbol from T-Bug. Targets Sandra Dorset. Targets Biomon went mute a couple hours back. Suspected abduction. Target could have possibly flatlined already. Not sure you're in time. We're in time, Bug. We. Sure you're on phones, but that don't make you any less part of this squad. Squad. Charming. Nah, Jackie's right. We're working as a team here. Bug, could at least try to be nice. You want nice, supportive? Call a damn helpline. <laughs> okay. Here we are. Oh. Looks like a friendly place. Right. Uh, what have we got? We've got a bounce back. Oh, I should have looked at that, actually. Can't actually remember what bounce backs do. We're going to leave. Uh, in fact, that's a Johnny Silverhand record. It could be worth something one day. Right. For We're not going to scour every corner for. Fingers crossed, it's not too late. Is that you? Oh, I hate this life or death shit. Get back inside. Right. Try hacking the door. Think you can trip it on your own, V? Yeah, that's not going to be too much of a problem. Uh, so we're not going to scour every corner for junk, but it would be worth picking some up as we go along to uh, try and make a bit of scratch as we go. No profile. Right, have we got anything of interest around here? Uh, what I'm going to do, while I'm in the heat of missions like this as well... Ah, I forgot about that. Tap left bumper and it highlights stuff for us. Oh, nice. What have we got in here? A used air hypo. Go on, it's Eddie's, I suppose, isn't it? Some more Eddie's. Hold on, Jack. Just taking a quick look. Fresh meat from your favourite supplier to Gomp. We won't forget you're a dead man walking. Whoa, hold on. Victor to blaze Ari you're fucked if any of your lackeys show up here again they're in for worse than a split jaw that's not an empty threat try me motherfuckers hmm is that the victor I think it is ashtray oh right right Jackie what's up objects highlighted in yellow while scanning contain valuable info to help you with the current job oh Sandra Dorset's protected under Echelon 2 Corpo immunity. Our girl's top shelf. This one's packing black market Zeta Tech repros. Typical back alley fix ups. Not our girl. Not our lucky girl. Let's keep looking. Right, anything of interest around here? Ooh, hello, it's a shard over there. I was about to say, right, hold on, bounce back mark one. Instantly restores 25% health and regenerates 3% health in 15 seconds. Cool, I think that's um, a step below a max dog, which is our main sort of source of heal. Um, I'm going to, whilst we're in the thick of an enemy area like this, I'm just going to take shards and read them a little bit later. Oh, wow, she's seen better days. Hello. Oh, well, hi there. Practice our stealth. Uh, 
Um, <laughs> thanks. So there's a bit of a moral question as to whether we go for the kill or the takedown. Um, but, I mean, look at what these guys are doing here. I don't think anyone would blame us for putting them out of their uh, misery permanently. Cyberware usage and its side effects. We've got some reading to do. Oh. Jeez. Yeah, they've put people through hell in here. I don't feel bad for taking them down. Ah, there's a max duck. That's what we uh, That's what we need. I need to actually pay attention to that properly next time to see... Uh, there you go. Instantly restores 50% health. Nice. 0.1 second cooldown. That'll do. I'm just keeping an eye on the mini-map to the top right there. Ah, here we go. You're too nice to these people. Hold down. Let me oh, wait, hold on. He's unconscious. <laughs> Am I a bad person for... Uh... Wait, hold on. How do I take Brosif? Hey, okay. I'm too used to... Uh, uh, what? Hold on, what did I just pick up? A bloody pig cutout tank. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> oh, hello. What have we got here? Ashtray. Uh, flashbangs. Biohaz grenade. Yes, we'll take those. Thank you. Ah, uh, crap. Okay, we're alright. We're alright. Max duck. You. On the floor. <laughs> Jackie's taking care of him. Nice. Ooh, pop ahead. Um, couple of different weapons. Now you say these, these scavs have got these scramble masks on to try and uh, sort of hide their identity, I guess, when they're out and about. Pick up some ammo over here. Eddies. Oh, hello. Is this our main guy? Who have we got? Vulture. Affiliation with the scavengers. Okay. Immune to electrocution and EMP. One shot protection. Wow, so you literally can't take him down in one shot, presumably? Uh, what have we got? Reboot optic short circuit. Hmm. Now, obviously I'd said before that... Uh, no, I don't want to be going around there. I'd said before that... Um, That I want to try and use melee weapons, but I don't think we've got anything at the moment. Pretty certain we don't have any melee... Uh, is there a separate tab for melee weapons? I don't think there are. Yeah, so we've only got guns at the moment, but I mean, that's fine. Let's, um, let's gear up, actually. So we've currently got pistol, which is 100 DPS. Do we have anything stronger? Everything... Huh, everything seems to be exactly 100 DPS. It's curious. Some thermal damage. No, this is about the best gun that we've got at the moment. Electrical damage. Right, let's do another, um... Do another quick scan of the guy. There we go. Uh, let's see, he's resistant against quick hacks. Huh. Okay, he doesn't actually appear to be resistant against much at all, so we may as well, um... We may as well equip a gun that has a, a decent amount of side damage. 
So like this one has got uh, 45 to uh, sorry 47 to 57 electrical damage. Or this revolver does thermal damage with a 2% burn chance. Hmm. 1.2 headshot damage multiplier. Actually, you know what? That looks like my weapon for now. In lieu of anything hand-to-hand. Uh, -hand. Let's, uh, let's see. Could we... Oh, we can't hack that. That's a shame. Oh, wait. Is he on the move? Now, I could just sneak up and take him down from behind, but... Where's the fun in that? Don't see any Whoa. movement on the sensors. What yeah, looks like you got big ass gun. Clear to go. Shoot, where the hell's our target? Look around. Gotta be there somewhere. Okay, at least that shut the music up. That's one good thing. Uh, right. I'm gonna take a very quick scan just to see if there's anything that we've missed that we could pick up. Ooh, what's this? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Uh, on common item components. It'll do. Oh my god. <laughs> An HMG. What? Oh, that is brutal. Oh my word. Um, We drop it, presumably. Yeah. If we re-equip a weapon. Uh, what have we got? Air yeah, hypo. Pain editors and mortality rates. Right, let's have a quick look at the computer, see what we've got. Any messages? Yeah. Oh wow, we've got a few. Pay or your head will explode. Oh. Hey, Tune, today's your unlucky day. You're probably wondering who I am. I'm a voodoo boy. Probably heard of us. Remember last time you hit the net? Yeah, me too. I hack your code processor and install a little surprise for you. Now you do what I say or your head goes boom. I think a thousand eddies is fair pay to keep your head. <laughs> wow. Talk about a chancer. As if anybody that had uh, seriously managed to infect someone to the stage that... Hold on. What's that? Got a stalk on your back. Okay. Um... To the stage that they could make your head explode remotely. I think they'd be asking for a little bit more than a thousand eddies. Uh, oh, we come this way. Oh, mummy. Flat out daughter, we could be that sneaky. <laughs> well, I mean, we weren't completely sneaky. Yeah, I did have to. my favorite way to roll, but Nova anyway. I did have to blow the back of his skull through. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, here we go. There she is. I got a stomach of steel, but this, oh, this. Tell me about it. Excuse me. Sorry. I think I got her. Got our target. We make it? She alive? Yep, this Let's is her. Find out. V, jack into our biomod. Need to know what we're dealing with. Oh, Someone else here is good. Jacking in. How many people have been through this bathroom and ended up this way? Sandra or worse? NC570442. Trauma Team Platinum. Platinum? Shit. Trauma should have swooped in if she sneezed. Guessing they jammed the transmitter, sick. Looking at a hacked biomon, firmware reconfig, or a neurovirus. Carajo, T Bug. You ain't seeing this place. This is tubs, ice, hooks, and cleavers. Hmm. Scott Muncher's hack, huh? Got an idea. Check her neural cord. Find a shard? Yeah, pull it. That'll be what's muting the biomon. Okay. Um, yeah, is, is that okay to do? Is that even safe? Can't we just get her out of here? We found her still breathing. Can't lose her. We need that biomon working, checking for hemorrhages, whatever. Find that shard and yank it. Found the shard. Removing now. Check the biomon. Anything changed? Greetings, Sandra. Oh, here we go. Assume recovery position now. An emergency evacuation unit has been dispatched and is due to arrive at your location in 180 seconds. Biomon Clave's trauma will be here in three minutes. Your premium plan will cover 90% of the projected costs of your rescue and treatment. Ay, pobrecita. Let's get her off that ice. Medical care at a premium. Trauma team's on the way. They should be able to take her off her hands. She's flatlining. V, need to know what's going on. Jackie, air hypo. Fuck, this is bad. Catch, 
Omega. Oh. I think. Holy shit! It worked. Fuera, chica. Get her outside. That air hypo thing makes me uncomfortable every time I see it. Scavrats abandoning ship. Must have seen trauma. Decided to cut their losses. Hold in there, Sandra. Oh! Landing. Stand clear. Initiate security protocol. Follow all instructions. Oh shit! Here's the cavalry. Place the patient on the ground. Five steps back. Now. Whoa. Okay, calm. Calm. TT-133 to control. Patient NC-570442 secured. Stimulants being administered. 70 milligrams dopamine. 110 norepinephrine. 800 for Brennage. And just like that, there goes our fare. Uh, I don't think there's anything worth our time out here. Oh, maybe a bottle or something. And that's that. Let's get out of here. Elevator gets us to the garage direct. Good cool. work. Shit show's over. Give me just a second, Cut Jackie. Wires now. See you in the near future. Thanks, hey, Bug. I got this thing. Mind if I borrow your wheels? Huh. <laughs> I got a day with Misty, but I can't take the metro. How's I gonna look for me? Won't leave you hanging, Jack. But don't get used to it. Uh oh, different emails on this one. Fresh meat. Oh no, no, no. This is a copy of the other one. From Victor. I need to look into this Victor. I'm pretty certain I know who that message is from. Toys. From Gomp to Artyom. Got a lot of good stuff. Gonna be long. Hand from Zetatech. Uses biosignature, but we ordered a jailbreak. Oh, this is what they've pulled off of people that they've captured. Uses biosignature, but we ordered a jailbreak. Militech lock on science. Wonder where this gonk got it. Arasaka hormone regulator. No biosignature. And some other little curiosities. Optics actuator and cosmetic real skin. Oh, oh, that's horrible. They've peeled the skin off of someone. Sell it on. <laughs> Gonna be long? Yeah, I have absolutely no remorse for wiping you guys out. None. Alright, do we have anything in here? Oh, don't mind if I do. Saving my ass, V. Wait, what is Thank that? You. Hold on. How about I drive you home, huh? She's all yours. I'm beat as it is. Okay. Mission accomplished. Sandra Dorsett's safe. She's on the way to a med center. Oh, almost forgot. Should get Wakako on the hollow. Tell her the job's done. Mm, yeah, should report back, I guess. All right, access phone. Hold that up. Uh, I didn't mean to use a hypo. I pressed the wrong button. <clears throat> v. Uh -huh. How did it go? Our client is alive and well. Uh, I mean, relatively speaking. Yeah, relatively well. Trauma team took her off our hands. She'll recover. Splendid. Your payment awaits you. Ready to come and grab whenever you like, even right away. But I guess home is the only place you wish to be now. The NCPD has surrounded Watson. The district is closed. If you're to make it past the cordon, you must move fast. Thanks for the heads up. Swing by to see you later. Words out the NCPD is gonna put Watson on lockdown. I'm gonna sleep in my own bed tonight. We better put in fifth. Leave it to me, Chica. I'm driving. Okay, we just uh, leveled up street cred up to level two. And um, if I remember right, street cred is used for unlocking uh, certain weapons and I, I think certain quick hacks.
Come on, the jacket. Let's get home. Haha, <laughs> we get to see the city up close for the first time. Legends are born here. <laughs> Couple of those names I recognize. Let's grab a tight bite. What do you say? Jackie, you're locking down Watson, member. Oh, shit. Right. <laughs> Oh, here comes trouble. Oh, I should not have picked this weapon. Actually, actually, I take it back. I like this weapon. Whoa, move, 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 move. <laughs> Come on. Oh. I'm aiming for the driver! Yes! Got him! Bye bye! Oh. Scratched your baby up pretty bad. Sorry. Oh, don't worry about the car. It's okay. They can wait. Let's just focus on getting home. Yeah, don't panic about the car. That was fun. Oh, hello. Road closed. Well, Wakako did say that. The police were locking down Watson, and Watson's where I live, so this could be fun. Here we go. Police roadblock. Damn. Pulling out all the stops. Oh wow, they got the heavy armor out. Oh Militech Mech! Watson's on lockdown to further notice. Necessary security measures. Officer, ma'am! Damn, are we ever lucky we ran into you. Really? What's it that makes me so special? Uh, a heart of gold? Because only somebody with a heart of gold can understand just how much I need to get back to my girl. Your <laughs> girl? Uh huh. I'm gonna be worried sick if I don't show up. You old smooth talker. I'm trying to be a stand up guy. Me a mm. That's a shame. Go on, officer. Pretty please. Look at him. No model citizen, maybe, but he's a good kid. Let them through. But they to laugh. Okay. On your way. You have a good evening now, officer. Okay, we're back in Watson in Little China, just round the corner from home. They say I'm insidious, bitch, you hideous, fuck this city, I'm good. One scrape from the city. Oh, hello. Doesn't look like your average boss. I ain't your average badges. Impact rolls in when things fly out of hand. Dogs out there, though. Max had to not mess around. You're riding as a passenger with nothing important is going on. You press B to skip the ride. Not a chance.
No way in hell. Love this city. Almost at your place. What about you? Not likely to make it back to Haywood now. Kill me? Don't let me through. You hope. You sure about that? Oh yeah. I'll play nice Jackie again. Just hope you don't go back via the same bridge, otherwise that cop's gonna be pissed after you sweet talk to. Well, here we are. Home sweet home. Thanks, Jack. Sweet dreams, then. Tell Misty I said hi. I will. Ahí luego. <laughs> Perfect timing. Okay. Oh, nice. We've leveled up. Uh, right. Let's save that level up until we get back home. Um, have a very quick look around just in the building's car park yeah there's actually nothing of interest here by the looks of things a state i don't know why i'm picking up a stapler but okay we'll take it this tragic incident which Ooh. some ultimately attribute to arasaka's wanton imperialist tendencies has forever left what's on the news oh is this the arasaka and tower bombing an important message for watson residents the homelessness problem plaguing the district's sewer system will be addressed as fumigation of the tunnels begins tomorrow. <laughs> Due to the use of potent neurotoxins... Oh my god. They're flushing the homeless out of the sewers sewer with neurotoxins. Jesus. Oh, T-Bug. Bug? Forgot earlier. A runner I know has something you could probably use. Zip in your deeds. Thanks. The task team box giving you is an important step on the path to developing your net running skills. Nice. Right, we need to check that out. Very cool. Um, it looks like the building next to us is significantly swankier than this one. But it's still home. Stupid gates busted again. Third time. Paid to get it fixed the last two. Gotta be some kind of scam. I'm certainly not coughing up again for it. Yeah. Here we are. V's own little slice of heaven. <laughs> nice. Uh, the apartment's had a little bit of an upgrade. And talking of which, I just want to have a very quick word about mods. If you want to take a look at which mods I'm running at the moment, I've got 29 active mods running on this playthrough. Um, maybe we'll add a couple more as we go along, but um, certainly for now, the mod setup that we're using is on a Google sheet, which, uh, which I'm going to link down in the description for you. If you've got any questions at all about any of the mods that I'm running, then feel free to just drop something in the, the comments and I'll answer there. Or if uh, if it's something important, then I'll, I'll pick it up in a future video. Right, let's take a little look around. Uh, we've got Od <laughs> Odikin Whiskey. That's unfortunate. Slightly increases weapon handling. Stacks up to four times. Has, it got no Ill has alcohol got no ill effects? Okay, that's different. Let's see if we've got anything on our computer. Uh... Looks like junk mail to me. Yeah, the Mega Medicine Lottery. A pe <laughs> penis nanogel scam alert. Do not click on any emails with ads for a penis enlargement nanogel. This is a scam. Ordinary gels cannot stimulate new cell growth. Uh, new cell growth, the only tested and proven method for penis enhancement, is still the Erosex hormone treatment. Our scientists at Erosex have developed a formula that will dramatically increase the length and girth of your penis by only seven days. Go and bother someone else's inbox. Alert, you've been attacked. Your computer's been attacked by this and that. Yeah, press the scan now button. If you do not scan in the next 5 minutes, 17 seconds, your operating system may suffer irreversible damage. No, go away. Oh, something else. Something I haven't really taken a, a good look through uh, previously is the net. Um, so I said last time that... Uh, the net is essentially kind of an internal intranet purely for Night City. There are some links out to uh, to other cities, um, but the World Wide Web 
the internet as we know it at the moment it ceased to be quite some time ago um, but I've never really looked through the net pages themselves so, all right let's take a quick uh, take a quick look around V's apartment oh we've got a bounce back that's handy it's good to know now it'd be interesting to see I'm not sure what order my quick bar down at the bottom left there actually consumes um, max docks and bounce backs I don't know if it prioritizes prioritizes one over the other I'm guessing it uses the max docks first because they're more effective and heal you more. Here's RV. Oh, I thought she was going to flash a pearly whites then. I actually <laughs> still don't know what colour her teeth are, weirdly enough, because I don't think I've, been, I've actually seen them. And, oh, there we go. Yeah, I, I, think, I think they're white. Maybe if I gawk? Yeah, they... Yeah, they kind of look white enough to me. Um, the character created, for some reason, V doesn't open her mouth anymore when you're creating a character. So I couldn't, I, I didn't have a clue if she even had teeth. Um, shower, toilet, with the uh, the customary three seashells, oh, of course. Right, let's take a look at some of those shards that we picked up uh, during the during the Sandra Dorset mission. Uh, if, oh, in fact, before I do that, let's take a look at our journal because we picked up something from T-Bug, didn't we? Um, so currently the rescue. Wakako Okada's got us a gig. Oh, no, that's that's just the um, the same overview that we've seen before. Uh, the gig. Uh, okay, so this is going to be the follow-on to the rescue. Whenever we go see Wakako and walk into that pachinko salon of hers. I get this weird, like, tingling feeling on the back of my neck. I don't know, V. She's all kinds of weird. Anyway, she promised a special reward for this job with Sandra Dorset. All we have to do is go see her on Jig Jig Street. Yeah, it's definitely from Jackie's point of view. The gift. T-Bug's probably the last person you'd expect to do presents. She's not the kind of girl who goes around buying novelty coffee mugs or t-shirts of your favourite comic book hero. But a Netrunner program for you? For the job? Shit, she must really like you, Chica. Awesome. Um, here we go. Here's our shards. Right. Awesome. Oh, we've got a few to go through, haven't we? Okay. Uh, so, emergency on demand. Ah, I, re I remember reading this before. This is specifically about uh, what I mentioned um, when we actually rescued Sandra Dorset. Uh, Medcare for a premium. How did it happen? When and why did we as a society decide that human life is a commodity, a luxury? My mother passed away at 45. She still had decades of life to live until it was all stolen from her by common pneumonia. If she had held even the cheapest trauma team policy, she could have been cured within an hour, but she couldn't afford it. My mother died five months before her scheduled appointment with our family practitioner. The idea of privatised healthcare is deeply ingrained in our public psyche. Already in 2020, there was widespread consensus that €500 Euro dollars a month was a fair price for trauma team insurance. Health wasn't something you were given, it was something you earned. The private system may not be perfect, but there's no alternative, we thought. Bullshit. Now across the Pacific Ocean to the USSR, where they also have highly trained medical technicians, high-precision nanosurgical suites, specialised antibodies, intravenous probes, the list goes on. Emergency airlifts using modern AVs equipped with cryotonic chambers, they have those too. The difference then? They don't leave their people to die on the streets, at the store, in their homes. They don't force anyone to purchase their lives from a corporation as if they're the ones who own it. Public healthcare isn't some unachievable utopia, it is a reality. Trauma Team, on the other hand, treats its policyholders as both potential patients to be treated and potential products to be bought. They save lives only because there's a profit in it. A saved life is a returning customer. Client death can also bring in fiscal gains in the form of organ and implant resale, though of course... Uh, is regulated uh, in regulated smaller sums. An emergency care provider can't afford to give its managers reasons to deliberately kill off its clientele base for short-term windfalls. Surely, you ask, these medical professionals are also guided by the Hippocratic Oaths. Please. Yeah, so trauma team that we saw on the balcony um, that took Sandra Dorset off our hands, they're essentially medical mercenaries. Um, but yeah, it, it, interesting thought about... Uh, it being in their best interest to actually save the people that are under their contracts because they're returning customers. They carry on paying the subscriptions. Right, uh, technology. Um, that's nice that they're nice that they're categorised. So that was an article. Technology, cyberware usage and its side effects. Many people believe we live in a time where impossible has become an obsolete term. 
Ripodox can replace nearly any part of the human body with artificial implants, from your big toe to portions of the nervous system. My years in trauma team, however, taught me that the impossible is still very much possible. Even now, as we enter the twilight of the 21st century, we as medical professionals have not been able to eliminate all of the side effects that come from incorporating cybernetic elements into our bodies. Of course, everyone is familiar with the mental disorder most commonly referred to as cyberpsychosis, but it doesn't end there. Although advances in medical science for the greater part of a century has reduced its incentive to a minimum, cyberware rejection can still occur in a small subset of the population. These unlucky few can experience a range of complications, but the following are the most prevalent. Immune response. The body rejects the implant, causing scar tissue to continue growing to the point that it causes pain and inflammation of surrounding tissue, as well as possible interference with the tech's electrical circuits. Psychological effects. Neurological implants have the potential to cause unpredictable change in the brain. Possible side effects include depression, apathy, hallucinations, and sudden increases in addicted behaviours such as gambling. Implant overdependence. Long-term use of certain synthetic body part replacements can change the brain's chemistry to make it accustomed to a particular type of implant. There are reported cases of permanent blindness after patients attempted to replace their Kiroshi optical implants with different models. No way, so the body adapts to a particular make and model of implant and just rejects anything else. It's almost like a drug, isn't it? The, the body becomes wholly dependent on one specific type of cyberware, so much so that it can't survive with, it, with anything else. In the face of these known risks, what should our outlook be as consumers and medical professionals? To deny ourselves cybernetic enhancements on the 0.5% chance we could lose our vision forever? Or gamble away our life savings at the casino? The clear, uh, the clear answer is no. Cyberware technology has elevated human biology to the point where those what-if arguments serve against our best interests. The best advice I can offer for minimising your risks is to read technomedical profiles for all cyberware you intend to purchase before you install it. Wow, buyer beware. Uh, also in technology, pain editors and mortality rates. The implant known widely as the pain editor is cyberware that reduces or even entirely eliminates pain. It has enjoyed unwavering popularity for years among certain circles in Night City, the most devoted and arguably most valuable of which is mercenaries. It is using this test group that Zeta Tech conducted the following research. The pain editor is a neural coprocessor that inhibits the signal sent from nociceptors to the parietal lobe of the brain, thus preventing feelings of pain in the user. Note, some models also reduce symptoms of fatigue. I could do with one of those. The beneficial effects caused by the pain editor are in some ways similar to the symptoms of hypoesthesia including greater resistance to physical forms of torture and the ability to ignore pain from severe wounds, which can allow the user to continue to perform beyond normal human limitations for a brief period. However, some studies have reported that the pain editor can yield a range of undesirable side effects. For example, in the heat of battle, some users are unaware of the severity of their wounds, which causes them to continue fighting without realising they are dying and require immediate medical attention. Jesus. The statistics support the theory that a lack of negative reinforcement may cause users to continue fighting when the rational strategy would be to retreat and escape death. Since 2020, the mortality rate of pain editor owners is above 60%. In this report, I address the question of how to better protect Zeta Tech clients from avoidable death while using our pain editors. So this is from the perspective of a Zeta Tech employee, presumably trying to help the users of their implants, but probably moreover trying to mitigate any potential damages uh, weighed against Zeta Tech by people who just uh, just push themselves so far that they're practically a walking corpse. Ah, this now sounds interesting. World information. The day the tower fell. This has got to be about the Arasaka Tower bombing. We saw a little snippet of that as we got into the elevator, actually, on the, um, uh, the what, what is it, News 54 Network News, I think? In early August 2023, a single event would change the course of history. Although it fell against the bloody backdrop of the Fourth Corporate War, the global media still fed on the story for weeks. And could you blame them? A group of terrorists detonated a nuclear bomb, blowing Arasaka Tower to pieces. The terrorists' warning came too late. Not all of the tower's employees could be evacuated. The blast itself killed and wounded thousands, while countless others died from radiation sickness. How did the biggest terrorist attack in the 21st century happen? Who was behind this catastrophe? To find the answers, we'll need to first understand the context of that era. 
The early 2020s was a period of unrest for Night City, and anti-corporate sentiment was at an all-time high. In the epicentre of the city's lawlessness stood the Atlantis Club. It was seen as an island of resistance against the powers that be, primarily mega corporations like Militech or Biotechnica, though a special place in hell was reserved for Arasaka, the Japanese arms manufacturing Zaibatsu that held the most influence over Night City. The kinds of people who frequented the Atlantis felt that corporations had hijacked the future and turned people into consumer slaves, and ironically, deprived of the two things capitalism loved most, freedom and choice. These people called themselves edge runners. They positioned themselves against the corporate world order. They declared their own freedom and opposition to the status quo. But deprived of any peaceful way to meaningfully change what they called the system, they reached for more radical methods of self-expression. And these people were no strangers to violence. Okay, so I know a little bit more behind this, but we'll 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 find out more as the game on unfurls itself before us. Um, but one thing that I can say, I'm pretty certain the Atlantis Club doesn't actually exist in Night City anymore. I think it was probably, uh, or possibly I should say, caught up in the actual destruction that followed uh, that followed this event. Anyway, uh, we have one more shard just here. New Brain Down rele that's releases, but I think I'm going to leave that for... Uh, for next time. What I will very briefly do, just before we wrap up, because I realise we're getting on a little bit now, is um, ooh, first of all let's take in the vista of Night City. Look at that! Oh, this game is spectacular. I keep gushing over it and I don't mean to but um, for all the negative press that this game has had it, it just does the city so well. Oh, man. Um, what I'm going to very briefly do is take a look at our, here we go, our level up that we have. So um, we've got one perk point available and one attribute point, attrib point? Attribute point available. So we're at level two street cred. Um, as I mentioned before, that's kind of like a, a passive stat that just unlocks more weapons and more abilities a bit further down the line. Uh, but we're level two now and you, I think you get one point for uh, perk and one point for attributes per level. So we can level up an overall... Um... Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, you, you can level up an, one of the five attributes uh, or... Uh, but you can also go into each attribute and into each sort of sub-level and uh, level that up with a perk point as well. So let's take a look again. So body, physical power in addition to allowing you to open doors, right reflexes, maneuverability, increasing max movement speed, um, evasion from enemy attacks and crit chance, technical ability, uh, tech weapons as well as armor. Cool. Crit damage chance in all resistances, intelligence. So we we spec intelligence quite high to begin with, so I think we can avoid that. Um, let's take a look at. Uh, I'm thinking maybe level cool. We are leaving body behind though, which is a little bit of a shame. Um, what I'd like to do is just dive in and take a look at the uh, a very very quick look at these. Ah, of course. Now, the individual perks that you take are locked by levels. You can see Gladiator perk. At the bottom there, you've got nine in uh, in red because we need to actually level body up to level nine before we can take that perk. So it might be worth taking a look to see if there's any of these that we'd, uh, we'd like to spec into. Um, for now, though, Athletics, Pack Mule increases carrying capacity. That could come in handy further down the line, but uh, Regeneration... Health slowly regenerates during combat. That would be handy. Annihilation. Hail of bullets. We're not going to be concentrating on bullets. Uh, on bullets? On guns. So something that uh, modifies that probably wouldn't be immediately useful. Crushing blows. Increases damage from strong attacks with blunt weapons by 15%. That's also blunt weapons. Now that's interesting. This all seems to be blunt weapon oriented. So, blades and katanas must be under something other than body. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> that answers that question. It's under reflexes. So, assault. Uh, time to aim down sight with rifles and submachine guns. Damage with rifles and SMGs. 
quick melee attacks with those crit chance we i mean i'm not completely ruling out going for a more traditional weapon um if i did go for a more traditional weapon it would probably be a handgun but i'm very interested to see what we've got available for blades so roaring waters strong attacks with blades deal 15 percent more damage that would be very useful increase attack speed with blades by 10 percent so we can get more hits in crimson dance combos with blades have a 15 percent chance to apply bleeding now we saw the bleeding status effect in the the um the training simulation didn't we i think when we were just using fists we uh, managed to get the enemy to bleed some slow and steady moving while we wielding a blade increases armor by 200 what Moving whilst wielding a blade increases armor by 200%. Wow. That seems very, very useful. Let's take a very quick look at some of the others. Crafting. Crafting I definitely want to take a look at because I've never really sort of um, dove into the world of crafting in this game. Uh, stealth damage is increased by 15%. That could be handy. Increases movement speed while, while sneaking. Oh, wait, hold on. I've only just uh, gone for the one tab there, haven't I? Cold blood. After defeating an enemy, gain cold blood for 10 seconds and increase movement speed by 2%. I'm not entirely sure what cold blood is or why I'd want to acquire it. Almost in. Increases breach time. Oh, okay, so this is for quick hacks. And look, the big sleep demon, which disables all cameras on the network for three minutes. Advanced data mine. Right, mass vulnerability. I remember that being useful. But I think... Um, mm, 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 I'm really tempted to go for that 200% uh, armor while moving with a blade. Because that just seems like... Ah, this is all about RAM and RAM recovery, isn't it? Oh, I'm just going to go for it. Let's go blade... Slow and steady. Moving while wielding a blade increases armor by 200%. I'm going to acquire this. Um, yes, there's the glaring fact that I don't actually have a blade yet, but I'm going to make it my point to get one. If I even have to go out and spend money on one, so be it. Right, that's our perk point. And um, let's, let's actually take a quick look and see what other things we can... Uh, we can perhaps upgrade reflexes to spec into. Flight of the Sparrow reduces stamina cost of all attacks. That might be very handy, actually, given that we've got a mod which uh, which makes stamina um, something to think about. I've got the... Let's see if I can find what it's called. Sensible Stamina and Athletics uh, mod enabled, which means that stamina drains a lot more quickly and regenerates dependent on your athletic skills so that might be handy um dodging while wielding a blade recovers 15 percent stamina that's nice increases bleeding duration by three seconds crit chance oh this is getting more expensive now oh here's another uh, level six def uh, requirement defensive attacks with blades deal 200 percent more damage wow hmm maybe that's the thing to uh, to look at Body, reflexes, okay. Uh, if I level this up, it will also increase my passive evasion from enemy attacks by 1% and increase crit chance by 1% for assault, handguns, and blades. Screw it. We're in. Right. That's all of our points spent for now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave it there for this time, guys. Um, thanks very much for joining. We're going to take a quick break here. When we come back, we're going to uh, head to bed and then the city will open up before us and we'll be able to get into the game proper. In the meantime, thanks very much for joining. And uh, if you'd like to leave a like or care to leave a comment, you know what to do down below. And I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.